Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new episode of Fisher Online. Today we are back at Prod. Today I'm going to do a uh, tryout for Xanders. Uh, so if you watched my uh, previous episode at Pra River, we ended up catching Sterlets and Pikes. Great episode, please check that out if you haven't already. Man, this thing is really slow. Uh, today we're heading back to the same spot here at C2. We're going to be spin fishing for Xanders. And I'm going to try for Wells Catfish at the same time. Uh, I would like some Zandies because it is night time. And as we traverse here, guys, it is very easy to spot mushrooms as well. I've already harvested like five mushrooms and we... What is wrong with this vehicle? 19 kilometers per hour. It feels like we're going five kilometers per hour. I feel like this is walking speed. Uh, but you can see shrooms really easily from the vehicles uh, if they are by the road. And for our setup, we will be using uh, Labrashad M3. I might change these things out though. Because I... Oh, there we go. Look at that. They are randomly generated. Okay. Because they're never on this road. So complete RNG, just because I see them here doesn't mean you're going to see them here. Is what I understand from this. Alright, wow, we uh, harvested a lot of shrooms. We got real good RNG here. Alright, let's uh, press J. It has, it's like a bloody land boat, this. So we're going to head out all the way. Uh, we're almost there, actually. And I'm going to equip my bottom feeding rods. I'm going to change them out. I'm going to show you guys what the weeklies are and go according to that. Alright, first fish. Uh, this is my third cast and we finally got something here. Let's see if this is in fact a Xander. Yes, it is. Looks like a nice size one too. 4.4 kg. Okay, not that big. Uh, this is what I'm using. Still the same setup here. And uh, for my other two, I'm just using crayfish. Nothing special. This is a large hook on this one with the crayfish. And I'm just using lucky fishing because you don't really need anything uh, to get the welts. Uh, if we look at the weeklies here, Xander all on Wybroshad M3, and Wells are all on Crayfish, so I'm using Crayfish for now. Look at that, only 21 to 28 kg, so they don't get large here. Or maybe people just haven't been trying. <laughs> uh, so that's why we're trying. Also, the spot I'm at is right here, C2. Right at the corner here, and I'm casting towards that island here. 20 meter clip I'm using. Uh, as long as it's 5 meter depth when you cast it and it says that, then you should be good. For this, I'm just casting here. Letting it sink to the bottom. And then just right clicking every so often. So I get jig step. I always do jig guiding for some reason. I feel like... The harder it is, the more, the higher the chance it is to get a fish. The straight retrieval is easy, anyone can do that, so it's like, okay, maybe it's not as, as good. Man, I'm getting quick, back to back to back. Zandies here, which is really good, it's promising. I had no idea that this spot was going to work, honestly. I know last episode we got a Xander here and there. Uh, but I didn't know if it was going to be that good. Look at this. Took a, you know, it took a two, three minutes to start, but now almost, uh, almost every cast I'm getting a Xander and it's at different distances as well. So like I'm full casting sometimes all the way out there, I'll get a bite sometimes midway. I'll get a bite sometimes when I'm close by, I've almost retrieved my entire land, then I'll get a bite. So it's everywhere, which is good. Uh oh. <clears throat> Noise. 
All right, so I have changed it down to 25 kg fluorocarbon liter because I was thinking maybe that huge line might be scaring the bigger Zandies away. Uh, but as you saw on the 49 kg line braided, I was catching a lot of Xanders, so it doesn't matter. But we do want a trophy. Uh, so, you know, use a 17, 20 kg fluorocarbon line if you have it. Maybe that'll give you better results. Look at this morning time. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Man. It's level design. Mmm. Every episode. Ooh. Is that a large burbot? That is a large burbot. 8.4 kg large burbot. Bro, could you not give me a trophy? Damn. Uh, 20 meter clip. 19, but 20 meter clip is what I'm using. When I cast it out, it tells me it's a 5 meter hole here. There we go, hitting bottom. That's all you need. But wowzers, look at this. Mmm, love it. All right, so it is morning time. Uh, so Xanders have stopped biting, but now I'm getting pikes. So I think I need to switch to the titanium leader. And guys, it's very worrisome. <laughs> I'll show you my fishnet. Um, but no, I'm just kidding around. Oh, I think this is going to bite off my leader. Might bite off my leader. 6 kg large pike. No, my leader is still here. Look at this. I got a Welts catfish 2 kg on the N3. That's scary. I'm catching these 6 kgs on my... Uh, 25 kg fluorocarbon line. So, you know what? I'm going to keep fishing. Uh, I am going to have to spend another night here because I do want to make sure that, you know, we do catch some big Xanders or at least a good amount of Xanders. So I can really tell, like, confidently say that, hey, guys, this is a Xander spot. Uh, so I am going to have to spend another night here. I would love to keep fishing, you know, fill my bag with uh, pikes. And probably Sterlitz we might start getting here soon. Uh, but this episode is about Xanders first of all. And then if we get any wells, you know, that's a nice bonus. Honestly, maybe I should switch over to the Titanium Leader. Because these 6 kg pikes are going to be no issue for me. Rather than fighting them for a long time. Uh, but if this fluorocarbon line means I have a higher chance at a trophy, then, you know, like, I want to keep using it. 6.5 kg. Yay, I completed the quest. So, I just did this one. We got a plastic set. No idea what I'm going to use that for. Uh, but XP. I need more XP. Uh, this was only 542 XP. This is 1600 XP, and I need XP. I'm level 34. Ooh. Saberfish. Not gonna even bother. Uh, in order for me to go to Kazakhstan, I need to be level 35. <sighs> I've been stuck in this level 34 for like the longest time ever. 644, I'm a little over halfway. Man. It's tough. Guys, forget Xanders. Come to this spot for the pikes. Oh my god. Just just look at the net, okay? I'm going to show you the net and the pike we got. Wow. This fluorocarbon leader or this lure and the spot are just magical for pikes. Uh, which is amazing because daytime pikes, nighttime Xanders. 6.96. Look at this. 7.1 kg. Alright, if we come to Fish on Lake, Grass Pikes, you can see the top one, M3, which is the one we're using, is 12 kg pike. 
So this Viber Tail um, is a contender, is a trophy contender. And uh, look at this, we're almost halfway there already, filling up our fish net. I'm not even trying. Look at this. We got another one. Absolutely insane. But if we do get a trophy, we are going to have a hard time even with a 25 kg line. I feel like. So I think I'm going to have to probably walk and chase it and not get spooled. Or it could come in easily. I don't know. Uh, but I haven't bothered changing my leader because this bite rate is insane. Every cast I'm getting these huge pikes. 6.5 kg. Wow. Alright. Very close. We ended up hitting a pike. We're going to quickly bring this guy in. Not that big. 5.9. And let's see what we got in this. Oh, nothing big. Let's just run back, bring it in quick. I don't have time for this. New strat right here. And the whole world is going to follow me on this one. <laughs> so we have started fishing this. What is this? Starlet, me boy. 2.4 kg. So during daytime, you're going to get starlets. Uh, keep it a size 2. Don't keep it size 4. More info on the previous video. Uh-oh. Yeah, so I got so many pikes here, guys. One after another. You don't even have to wait. I'll show you guys in a moment. I did a few quests as well. Yep, and that's a pike again. I really thought the Xanders would be out by now, but no, they are not. 6.7 AKG pike. You can see in the chat. Pike, pike, pike. Uh, quest, I completed this quest. Predatory fish, 22 kg. I sold all those pikes. Uh, then there was another pike quest that gave you 95 silver. I finished that quest. So, just insane. Grass pikes, guys, insane. Like, I don't even need to wait and I'll, I'll get a pike. So... My net might end up becoming full before Xander even wake up. Here we go. Finally a Zandy. It's a small boy. Do I need my net for this? 3 kg Xander. Noise. Alrighty guys. So uh, my net is almost full. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sell our fish. Uh, first and foremost, what I've discovered is this is definitely a pike spot more than it is a Xander spot. Uh, you can see a lot of Zandies here. But man, these pikey boys, it's insane. And these are not even all the pikes. Like I've sold many pikes for missions and stuff. Then I stopped fishing because I still wanted a little bit of space in my bag. Uh, for Xanders, but you can see Xanders. We didn't we didn't catch any large Xanders. They're all, all just small 5.5 kg Zandy. Look at that. I got on crayfish 5 kg 4 Then it was three and twos, but pikes all large pikes. Look at this insane uh, Large burbut 44 silver. So you know what this spots amazing. You can fill up your net so fast here with these large pikes It's it's crazy uh, so sell them all. We are at 655k experience, uh, which is pretty darn cool. Can we make anything? No, we still can't. I got loads of mushrooms now, though. Can't make that. Uh, I do have field fabric. I just need a metal set. But there, I don't see a reason for me to make a fishing net anyway. Shrimp tail, fish pieces, ground clay. We can make shredded fish. And that's it. Okay, yeah, no more. 
all right hope you guys enjoyed this episode not sure where i am going in next let me know give me ideas and i'll do my best to check them out like subscribe comment below and i'll see you next time until then guys enjoy